I know what caused the flash forward. You don't believe me? Well, of course I do. The world's greatest mystery has been solved by a boozer on a train bound for Los Angeles. Can you connect to the internet with that? Real quick, do an image search for quantum physicist genius. Go on. I'll wait. Which popped up first? Me winning the Robert Wilson Award or the jaunty one of me holding lab goggles over my genitals? Hold up. You really... I'm obviously wasting my time. I'm sorry. I... I just heard that line a hundred times before. You genuinely want to know? Of course. The flash forwards were caused by you. It's simple quantum mechanics, really. Whenever a heavenly body carries such an intense force of attraction, the universe just goes bananas. Sounds technical. Helps if you have a PhD or two. If my calculations are correct, your dark energy could bring about another catastrophe at any moment. Luckily, I've pinpointed the one location on Earth that has an irresistible enough force to counteract you. Let me guess. Your sleeper car. Grab your purse. We've no moment to lose. I thought for sure that would work. Oh, for a 21-year-old sorority girl, maybe. But, um, I've learned never to go anywhere unless I'm gonna get the real thing. The actual cause? Mm. I have a theory, but the, uh... The science is a little complicated. I'm a complicated girl. I can handle it. The most basic concept you need to understand is quantum superpositions. Are you aware of the double slit experiment? Well, there was that one time in college. What about Schrodinger's cat? No, I'm not that kinky. Close your eyes. Give me a hand. Okay. Now. Imagine you have a cat. EBL's a leader in the field and only one PIV. We need access here. A teeny, tiny cat. What do we got? We got a gunshot wound to the abdomen. We need to set up a peripheral. Janice? We need access here. That fits in the palm of your hand. You also have a poisonous sardine. Once we close your palm, there are two possible scenarios. Bring the coke cart. Come on, let's go. Clear. Either the cat eats the sardine and dies, or the cat doesn't eat the sardine and lives. No response. Going again. Quantum physics says, until we open your hand to discover the cat's fate, both eventualities occur at the same time. Clear. Still no response. CPR. For us, the cat is both living and deceased. But how can that be? That's the miracle of quantum mechanics. The observer gets to decide. The kitty's already made up his mind. Alive or dead? See for yourself. <laughs>